Amen. Let's say thank you for wearing one. Thank you for everything. All right. All right Welcome to the single parents. And, you know what I mean? Podcast. We back at it. We actually doing it, uh, you know, uh, the best way we can. You know? <laughs> I remember I was just telling you um, in the last previous podcast that we was going to try to figure this thing out. And we figured it out for the most part. I mean, for the most part, we just started out, though. But we just got to figure it out, though. You know, but again, Happy New Year. It's 2023. You know, we actually trying to, you know, get our life together. I know we took a lot of L's in 2022. And we made some W, but I don't know what your life is looking like. But for the most part, we actually. That's my mama. We foolish. If you don't remember Coco Foolish and Miss Chase in the morning, you too young for me. Getting this thing together, you know. So, uh, what we're going to do is, you know, get a shout out to all the, uh, the grandparents. They don't get no love at all for taking care of these kids, man. They don't get no love. Like, y'all be outside twerking on the headlights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, think I'm feeling you? That nigga's a munch. You're doing that to these guys all last year. And where are the kids going? They're going to the grandparents. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to the grandparents. Shout out to the friends. You know what I mean? Shout out to the kids that, you know, Y'all left, you know, little, little, little baby kid, like, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna say baby, little, little, I don't know, what, what's the name that you usually give for all the kids nowadays? It'd be, it'd be something expensive. It'd be very something expensive as fuck. Lamb. <laughs> That's also Halloween, Bob Ross. She's a princess and she was a maid. Ow. Look, go get Lamb and take care of him real quick. You know, and we gonna go to you know where we about to go. We about to go to the hookah bar. We about to slide for a little bit. And we about to twerk on the headlights. Even the homies and shit like that. You know, um, same scenario. I don't know. Most of my niggas take care of their kids. <laughs> it's a little bit of a different situation. My niggas like they they either like they either taking care of their kids and saying like no, nah, any ain't, ain't about that life. Or with me, I stay with my kids and we bring the party to the crib. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, just get a shout out to these grandparents, man. They really been like, they us, like, like far as my parents, stuff like that. They've been putting in like uh, uh, communication. Uh, <laughs> with me to see what my, my daughter's like, you know what I'm saying, what the older daughter like, you know, I don't think I said like, y'all you y'all need to talk to them but for the most part it just understand it it just knowing, excuse me it just, you know what I'm saying, what's going on and stuff like that as far as like, they haven't seen them in quite some time you know, they grown, they are getting older they are going through a lot of different things, you know, FaceTiming and, and what it is and stuff like that all the time. You know, you know, our grandparents, and if they're still alive and stuff like that, well, their grandparents, if they're still alive, you know, um, they like to see stuff, you know what I mean? FaceTime, you know, like, oh! <gasps> but you know how that is. They want to see these kids and stuff like that for the most part. You know what I'm saying? They want to feel the whole energy and stuff like that. So, shout out to the grandparents. And if the grandparents didn't get nothing to them, I mean, it's still all love, stuff like that. As long as it's like they done something in, in the previous years. You can't be like five years in and you ain't getting nothing for your, your granddaughter or grandson. Like, come on, man. <laughs> red flag. Big red flag, you know. But if not a red, if it's not that, like, you know, you don't have no obligation to take care of your kids and stuff like that. You know, 
it's just more of a, you just need to put yourself in a predicament that, you know, A, if you become a grandparent one day, A, I don't want to do it like this, maybe I should do it like that. Or I don't want to do it like this, maybe I should do it like that. You know, everything shouldn't be like so like oversaturated. That's what's wrong with what's been going on in the past like five or six years. To me, I'm sitting here with some old ass jeans I've been had for like about like six years, six or five years. A t shirt that's wrinkled and it got dirt spots on it. I didn't realize that I got outside, like, damn, I got chili stains on it, bitch. I don't even eat chili. My socks clean, my body clean though. I'm saying, I'm here. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Put some oil on it. Happy birthday, homie. Don't get fucked up with my body hygiene. <laughs> it's just my clothes and stuff like that. You know? But sometimes it, it kind of be like that for the most part. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, just try to. Just do the best that you can. So, for the most part, you know, the grandparents is, is where it's at. And even with that, you know, I, I got a confession. It ain't confession, though. You know, everybody's knowing it. But I, I, I done it 23 and me back in um, November, right? I did 23 and me back in November. And, uh, I had to redo it again. Chicken. I, had to, I had to redo it again. So I supposed to get it in November the 6th. So the Coley family truth will come out pretty soon. Right now it's uh Time it up. it's November the no, it's January the second. You know what I'm saying? So January the sixth is going to come. The ladies of January 13th. I'm saying that to say this, you know, there's nothing wrong with trying to do all like different different things and stuff that going against the grain. I've been criticized so much about saying, oh, I shouldn't be going this, the FBI is going to be going against me and, and going against what I'm going against and they're going to find me, capture me, throw me in the trunk and, and do things that don't even sound like relatable to a situation that never even happened. So what, what I want y'all to do for real, for real, stop worrying about like what people talking about. You feel me? Let's do your own thing. That's how I get to where I was at now. If I if I didn't get to where I was at now, I didn't have to have the tattoos I got. I don't have the clothes I got. You know what I mean, I want to be the man that I am. But I always, I always put myself there. I submit myself to information. What I mean by that, like, I always make myself available to information. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is I sit there and I listen to the young folks, to the people that's my age, even the older folks. But what I'm not about to tell them is, is nonsense. You know what I'm saying? It's something that's not... Um, I don't say capable. Or something that's not, like, available to... No reality situation. You know what I'm saying? They say something nice. Say like, oh, don't do that. Aliens about to get you. You Google it. Aliens going to get you if you buy popcorn. And you Google it and you pull it up there and the bitch lying. Get the fuck out of here. That's what I'm saying. Like, We got to really, like, really be like more proactive with what we want to do. I said this on my, um, I said this on my, uh, Snapchat. If you want to do something that you really want to do, like you, you feel like you want to do, take everything one step at a time. Like for instance, like say tomorrow come and you haven't like really cleaned out your closet, literally like cleaned out your closet. 
take that day to clean out your closet. Or say you working a lot of hours and stuff like that. You know, say you haven't got a time to like, you know, um, mop the, the bathroom floor or clean out your bathroom or just mop it, sweep and mop it. Do shit like that, you know, and do something that's, you know, best look bro I'm saying like you know I, I, I'm putting everything right now like everything got to be something productive for the rest of this year the best way it can you know I'm just saying that right now like whether it's got the mop the floor you know what I'm saying and straight out your closet or whatever you know what I'm saying and I was really like this podcast is about the grandparents and the people that help out with the kids and stuff like that that's just what it's about right now but yeah I can edit this out <laughs> but you, if you want to hop in, throw a wig on real quick, it's fine. Like, you know, I don't edit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, we, we, uh, I definitely want to give special thanks to, you know, this people that's helping out, you know, this people that's helping out with kids and stuff like that. You know, that's the most important thing about this thing about parenting and stuff like that. Like, we all need this help for sure. We need it now, like, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, yesterday. And and if we don't, fuck it. We we, we try to find a way, but you know, the the, the, the general the generational curse is is we I ain't gonna say I have to break it, but somehow that stuff gotta be diluted a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This can be about like, oh yeah, I'm just fucking with my family. This fucking right. We all need this stuff. Come on, y'all. Be, be quiet a little bit. Okay. I'm almost done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we all gotta figure this stuff out one way or another. But man, I really want to help y'all. Give y'all a happy new year. A lot of people didn't make it in 2022. You know what I mean? Peace in paradise. Wish y'all the best. You know what I'm saying? And uh, pray over us. You know? And put y'all in a situation. Uh, well, just know this. Look at people, other people's situations and try to make yourself a little bit better. You know? And hopefully I can make myself a little bit better. Move like that the best way we can.